How's everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to take your Minecraft 1.13.2 server and upgrade it to Minecraft 1.14. It's going to be the step-by-step -step process, everything you need to do, except getting the servers up and running. And the reason for that is I have an eye at the top of your screen that shows you how to start your Minecraft 1.14.1 server. And you should be running 1.14.1 of your Minecraft server, or 1.14.2, or 3, or whatever the latest version of Minecraft 1.14 is. And this video will show you how to upgrade your server each time. Even if you're coming from an older version of Minecraft, say 1.12, this will show you how to upgrade that world in the best way possible in order to make sure everything works properly. So, First thing you want to do is make sure your servers are up. And as you can see, we do have two servers here. We have a 1.13.2 server and a 1.14.1 server. We're going to be transferring the 1.13.2 world to the 1.14 server. Now, we want to make sure that we're running the 1.14 server here. And then I'm going to join in and place some blocks. That, we, that way you know we are actually transferring that server from one server to the next, right? That way you know this world is actually being transferred. So we're launching this server up. Once it's launched up, we'll go ahead and join into it. But first, a message from our sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Host. And go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to get an incredible 24-hour DDoS picked in Minecraft server for you and your friends. We actually love Apex so much that we host our own server on them, play.breakdowncraft.com. Plus, Apex just has one click upgrading of your server. Yeah, you heard me right. You can upgrade your server with one click at Apex Minecraft Hosting. So uh, be sure to host your server with Apex if you want easy upgradability and overall an incredible lag-free DDoS protected Minecraft server. You can check out Apex again at the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. Nevertheless, once you've got your server up and running over here on 1.13.2, we can just go and make sure that it is the correct server. So it's a direct connect here and then we'll just join the local IP because that's where this server is hosted. Now once we've joined in here, I'm just going to place some random blocks down. I'm not going to overcomplicate this. I'm going to myself really quickly and then just go into creative and we're just going to place some blocks down right and the reason is i just want to show you that this is in fact the same server so we're just going to take this diamond block and just place it like right all the way up through here we'll come over this way and all that stuff just kind of place some of this down just to make sure that we understand this is in fact a it's world basically i'm griefing with diamond blocks is what it looks like but nevertheless there is that my render distance is really low because i just did an optifine tutorial so let's go ahead and up that a bit but nevertheless there we go so now that is set up that is a very memorable thing in our world so we can go ahead and disconnect we now want to stop our minecraft server so let's go ahead and stop that at this point it's very important that we make a copy of our world. To do that, open up your old server, your 1.13.2 server, the server you're moving to 1.14. Then you want to go ahead and take the world folder here, go ahead and right click, copy, right? So right click on it, click copy, and then come over to your desktop and click paste. So right click and paste on your desktop. This will give you a world folder, which you can then rename to something like backup server. So that way, if in this process your world gets corrupt, something does happen bad when you upgrade, guess what? That's fine. You've got a backup and you can just pull that backup back in. Now, at this point, we need both of the server files open. So we've got 1.13.2 over here and we've got our 1.14.1 server over here. Now, we want to copy everything over, but basically the .jar file. So to do that, I'm going to go ahead and take the world on the 1.14 server. You shouldn't need it at all. And we're going to right click and delete it. Now, the banned IPs and banned players, if you're banning people on your server, you can delete those. If you've never banned anyone, there's no reason to do that. The ops.json, though, that is something you do want to delete to make sure that you know your opt players stay. Your server property, user cache, and whitelist, go ahead and select all those and delete those as well. Now, we need to take everything over here and drag it to the 114 server. So we're going to do world, banned IPs, we're going to do the ops file, we're going to do the server properties, the user cache, and the whitelist, and drag all of that over into the 114 server. At this point, we can double click the run.bat file on our 114 server. As you can see, 1.14 server, this is a 114 server there, it is starting on up. That's technically not the server software, but you'll see that this is a 114 server once we get in game, because I'll just spawn in some 114 mobs. So nevertheless, let's go ahead and open up Minecraft now and we don't want to select 1.13.2 we do want to select 1.14 that is the most recent version that is out 1.14.1 so just go down here to latest release 1.14.1 click on that and click play i will go ahead and open that up while our server is preparing the spawn over here, getting everything ready for us to join in. And because we transferred everything over, our op players, everything, we'll be able to do game mode creative, we'll be able to do all of that. As you can see, done, the server is finished setting up, 
it is loading up Minecraft here, and once it's loaded up, we'll be able to join the server. So if we click on multiplayer, look at that, play.breakdowncraft.com, the best Minecraft server in the multiverse, grief protected survival, a player economy, custom skyblock, come play with us. You will absolutely love it. You can join off of 114, 114, 1, 113, 2, anything you want to join off of, you can join off of it. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and direct connect here, and then we're going to direct connect to our local IP, that's the same IP we used earlier, and then it'll join on in. We'll see it pop in over here, but we'll be in the exact same place we were at, and there it is, there's our diamond blocks. You can notice we're also in creative because we transferred the player files over, and as I promised, we transfer the op file. So I can do game mode survival, go back into survival, I can go back into game mode creative here, and just to prove this is 114, let's go ahead and get myself a crossbow. Right, like so, look at that. And then we can also spawn in some pandas maybe, that could be fun, and we'll get a villager and pillager as well, because why not? So we've got some villagers here. So we'll spawn in a couple villagers. Those are definitely 114 villagers. We've got some pillagers, they've got their crossbows. We've got some pandas. We can spawn in some pandas here. Boom, look at the baby pandas just tumbling everywhere, it's great. And then we do have the crossbow, which we can attack that pillager with. That pillager is actually going after that villager. Sorry, everyone. But nevertheless, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And be sure to subscribe to the channel for more awesome videos on being an admin on a server, getting plugins on your server, all of that stuff. As a matter of fact, if you want plugins on your server, you can check out the eye at the top of your screen to see how to set up a paper server to get plugins on your Minecraft 1.14.1 or 1.14 server. Anyway, my name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown. Thank you so much for watching, and I am out. Peace.